Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and today, in our very first episode of Ranger Gear by DJ, we're going to take a look at the very first piece of cosplay gear that I have crafted, and that is this. A holster designed specifically to carry the Lightning Collection Power Lance. Now, this is a tricky thing to carry around at cosplay or at a con because... Well, for one thing, carrying anything around in your hands is going to get tiresome after a while because you want your hands free to meet other people, fist bump, shake somebody's hand, carry stuff that you bought from vendors. So having to carry a prop is a pain in the butt, and anybody who has been to a con and cosplayed knows that. And the tricky thing about the Lightning Collection Power Lance is that it comes in a pair. There are two of these, and you can combine them together, but it's still hard to carry around. So I created this holster specifically so that I can carry them on my sides and have both my hands free. And I'm going to show you guys how I made it. Alright, now the holster that I have created is meant to be worn from your belt. So it wraps around your belt right here. And then I've also created a strap that goes around your upper leg right here. That will keep the holster from swinging around as you're walking through the con. But here it is in action. You've got the harness just like that. And now you've got the power lance hanging in there. This is meant to be worn in pairs. So the idea is that you would make two of these, one on each hip. All right, so to do the first part of this project, it's very, very simple. All you need is a piece of EVA foam or your material of choice, just as long as it has some thickness to it and can carry some weight. And it doesn't have to be a full-on piece. It can be a scrap piece. You're only gonna need it to be six inches by seven inches. Now we have a piece of square foam that is six inches by seven inches. And when we wrap this around, it'll make our holster. Now for the next part, we need some duct tape. Now what we need to do is we need to take this square and we need to fold it into a cylinder just like so. Now a lot of people will tell you that you want to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to make this more malleable and that does work, but I don't have one of those so we're going to have to go without. All right, so now we've got our duct tape on there. You can see we've got ourselves a decent little cylinder shape here, and if we put the power lance in there, it's already going to fit nice and easy. So now we got to make it look pretty. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to put the strap that will wrap around our legs right here. So we have taken our knife, and we will cut one-inch slits here and here. And I'll show you how I did that right here and right here. They're about one inch wide so that the strap will go through it nice and easy. And this is very easy, very simple cotton strapping. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. You probably get it at Joann's. Most hobby and craft shops will have something like this. Just make sure you get the one inch width. Don't get the thicker stuff because it'll be too big for the buckles that we're gonna use earlier. So real simple. So now that we've got the slits cut, we just, Push it in there as best we can. There we are. We got one side in. Now we just got to push it through the other side. And it's okay if you rip the tear just a little bit because we're going to cover it with vinyl later. There we go. It's in there. It's a good idea to get a yard's worth of this and then cut off the slack after you've completed the project just as a good rule of thumb. That way you don't cut it too short by accident. But now that we've got the strap in there, we can go ahead and we can put the vinyl in here. 
All right, now we've got our vinyl. Now, one of the key things about this holster is that when you slide the power lance in and out of it, you don't want there to be anything in there for it to catch. And then it might start to peel it off and ruin it, and it's a big pain in the butt. So, you're going to have to cut multiple strips out of your vinyl to place inside of here and then wrap around back on the outside. So, you will have this pattern going across like this, if you can see that. Now... Personally, I think it gives it some good texture, but the idea behind this is to prevent the lance from catching the inside of something and then tearing it out. I've seen that happen before. It's a big pain in the butt. Now, the holster is six inches long, so we need something that is going to be eight inches long so that we have enough to go on the inside and then wrap back around on the lip to be secured here. So when you get your vinyl, you want to cut multiple eight inch strips out of it that are about one inch thick and then glue them to the inside of your holster. All right, now that we have our strips of vinyl, we need to get ourselves a hot glue gun, and we're going to apply glue to the tips of each backside so that when we put it through here, we're going to have one folded over here, one folded over here. And I'm going to show you exactly what that's going to look like. So let's go get our hot glue gun. Now we've got our strips of vinyl cut out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put each one in here. We're going to glue them across here and across here, and they're going to overlap so that none of the foam is exposed. All right, so now you can see we've got vinyl wrapped all along the inside of the holster and it overlaps on the top and bottom and that's where we've glued it. So that is going to keep anything from catching when you put your power lance in and out. Nothing will get caught, nothing will rip. So now what we need to do is get a solid piece of vinyl and wrap it around the outside to make this thing look pretty. All right, so here is a piece of vinyl that I've cut to seven inches by five and a half inches. Now this was seven inches by six inches, but the five and a half will cover the seams here, which is all we're really looking to do. And we're going seven inches because this was seven inches around when we first cut it. Now we are going to have to cut some slits for these straps and another slit up top here for the strap that will attach to your belt. But we'll cross that bridge in just a minute. For now, let's go ahead and get it glued on there. Okay, so clearly I made a mistake with the measurement. Uh, I had made this seven inches wide, and uh, well, I guess it needs to be eight inches. So make a note of that, but for now, let's go ahead and cover this up. Now, there's lots of ugly seams all around this holster when you first get it put together. So to cover it up, we use what's called blue phasing tape. You can get it at any hardware store like Lowe's, Home Depot, things like that. Uh, it's only a couple of bucks per roll, and it'll last you a long time. Basically electrical tape, but blue. All right, now that didn't turn out too awful bad. 
So we've got our two our stripes, and then we have a much larger gap here that we had to cover with tape than I thought we were going to, but you know, mistakes happen. All right, now that we've got all of our tape in place, it's time to cut the slit for the belt strap. All right, now that we've got our slit cut into it, we're gonna take the other strap and we're gonna shove it right through there and pull it out the, through the inside. All right, now that we've got all of our straps in, it's time to go ahead and size them up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of buckles and attach them to the straps so that we can adjust them just in case you need to make it a little tighter or a little looser. Now first, we are once again going to call upon our trusty glue gun to attach the base of the clip. So this part here. So we're gonna take that and we're just gonna wrap it around just like that and glue it on there because this is going to be a permanent fixture. So let's go ahead, put some glue on this one. There we go. All right, it only takes a few minutes, um, just a minute for that glue to dry, and then you'll be all set with this side. All right, now that we've got that on there, we're going to take this side and attach it. We don't use any glue, just like that. There we go. And that's that for this side. So you'll, depending on the size of your leg, you will, you know, pull this out a little bit that way to shorten this up. You'll pull this through so that you can tighten it up. And then once you get it about where you want it, You'll want to give yourself about six inches of slack here and then cut it off and then you're all set. So now we're going to do the same thing with this side so that it can be adjustable up and down depending on how tall you are. There we go. We got that on there and then we'll just take this one and do the same thing that we did over here. So that'll just go in like that, back in this way, pull it through. And there we go. All right, and then that's ready to hang from your belt. Now, once you've got the primary structure done and it's ready for use, then you can do a couple of little things to tidy it up. For example, this right here, we can take a little bit of blue tape and just kind of cover that up and that'll make it look a little bit better. All right, and our holster is ready for use. All right, guys, here it is, our newly created Lightning Collection Power Lance holster ready for use. It's fully adjustable both height and around your leg, and it will work very, very well. And just like Louis did before, here's a Lightning Collection Power Lance, here's your holster, and it'll slide in there nice and easy, so now you can keep your hands free while you're walking through your con. It's going to be really, really handy. I will have these available on my Etsy page, Ranger Gear by DJ. I just need to work out a few more logistical things and I'll be ready to start spitting these things out. So if you guys are interested in just purchasing one from me, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to let everybody know when my Etsy store is ready to start pumping out merch. But if you wanna to try to make one yourself, just follow the tutorial that I laid down here and I think you'll have an easy time of it. I will have a list of all the materials that you're going to need in the description below. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm gonna be doing more of these in the future. I really enjoy doing this kind of thing and uh, after uh, winning second place in the Charlotte Comic Con cosplay contest, well, I've kind of been bitten by the bug, so I'm going to be doing a lot more of it. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and you know what time it is.